Oh, that's outstanding. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Bittman, and welcome to Cooking in Your True to Food Kitchen, brought to you as always by Signature Kitchen Suite. Today we're doing a roasted fish fillet with mixed herbs and a special peach and bacon version of a watermelon salad I like very much, and very, very simple five minute drizzle. I'm joined by Dave and Linda Egler in Minneapolis and by Chef Nick Ritchie in Napa, and I'm going to let each of them introduce themselves. Linda? Hi, I'm Linda Ingler. I am owner and interior designer at Ingler Studio Interior Design in Minneapolis. I'm joined by my favorite home chef, Dave Ingler, my husband. And we look forward to cooking with Mark Bittman and Chef Nick today. As Mark said, uh, my name is Nick Ritchie. I am the executive chef for Signature Kitchen Suite. Um, we are in the Signature Kitchen Suite live kitchen, uh, and I will be helping Dave and Linda we're going to show them a couple tricks uh, on their 36 inch pro range and the griddle and the steam oven. And I am very much looking forward to it. So I believe we're going to start by cooking the bacon. Yeah. So yeah, I start off with the bacon I'm first and foremost picking this recipe for the 36 inch was a breeze because with this little meal we're cooking, I'm able to use three modalities, the bacon on the griddle, and the fish in the steam assisted oven. Then we get to make your drizzle sauce and utilize a third modality of the stove, gas burner, which just shows how versatile this 36 inch pro range is. Let's get started with the bacon. Your kitchen looks great, by the way. Um, Thank you. And I know you've done some cooking in it and are looking forward to this. So um, Nick, any advice on cooking this bacon on the griddle? Well, A, preheat. I think I gave them that hint a little bit earlier, and I think they I think have been there. I think we're there. Um, you know, the chromium is beautiful, but it's not a thousand percent nonstick. So I do like to start with a little slick of vegetable oil or um, whatever your preferred cooking oil yeah. is. Yeah. Um, and uh, you should be at about 375 or 400. I don't know if you have thin or thick bacon, but. Um, 375 to 400 seems to be the perfect bacon zone there. And I did hear it uh, come to temp because it gives me a little tone. Nice. Good technique, Dave. I like it. <laughs> I'm passing the test already. Well, then I think you could go ahead and preheat to um, 100 degree steam assist. Okay. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and get that bacon on the griddle. Here's our thick cut bacon. It is nice. Very nice. Ah. Nice sizzle. That should do well for a salad, I would think. What do we have with that? We've got uh, heirloom tomatoes. I can show you those. Heirloom tomatoes, some Athena cantaloupe melon, and then watermelon. Watermelon. Wow. And then a little uh, little blue cheese for the top. Very colorful. I love that. Oh, so I we forgot. have watermelon, and, tomatoes, and peaches. cantaloupe, and peaches. and peaches. Wow. Yes. Awesome. That's going to be really sensation. nice. And um, what kind of fish did you guys wind up getting? I know you went to the fishmonger just an hour ago or so. Yes, I did. I, we've got a great uh, fishmonger here in the Twin Cities, Coastal Seafoods, that supplies a lot of the restaurants. And I got a, uh, a very nice Chilean sea bass in a, in a thick steak. Um, and they do, a, they do a great job there. We're doing a thick fish fillet. And one thing I like about that, and, and this oven's going to be particularly great, is that it's a, thin fish fillets are very easy to overcook. And they're generally pretty fragile. Whereas a thick fillet, you have sea bass, as you said, it's going to take a little while. You want to cook it through. It's not going to fall apart, and it's going to stay moist. The, the star of this dish is going to be the fish, but we're going to have that beautiful salad. We're going to have this very cool, simple drizzle. It's going to be really, really beautiful. That is one of the great things with your book, too, Mark, is all the options you've got in there. I mean, there, there's no recipe that doesn't have multiple layers. We've got... Your original, your actual original press of that from 1998 
has been kind of our Bible for a long time. We got it when we were 10. <laughs> <laughs> Newlyweds. Newly I wrote it when I was 10. Oh, yeah. So there, it's a bit. <laughs> uh, you guys could go ahead and put on a little pot and real quick get that um, five-minute drizzle sauce going. Okay. I found that uh, it's a pretty gentle sauce. I did it on the back burner so that yes. then you're able to um, kick the burner down on one of our beautiful simmer settings and um, keep that sauce from evaporating into thin air. And also, we don't really want to, we're doing shallots and ginger. We don't really want to brown anything. We just want to soften it. So I'm going to add the shallots. It's just you want them aromatic, no need to get them brown and roasty and toasty. It's a nice, gentle, delicate sauce. And then chopped ginger. Let's talk about the herbs you've chosen for the fish. I know that my, my list of choices is maybe not even that helpful because it's basically like infinite. Um, <laughs> but we did talk in advance about what you're going to use, and I'm, I'm curious what you've wound up with. Yeah, so we went with uh, the parsley kind of as the main base. And Can't then go wrong. Uh, tarragon, uh, chive, and then a little lighter touch with the uh, thyme leaves. They're... So you've got about half a cup, a little more total there? A little there. more than that, probably. I'd, yeah, I'd say a little bit more. We're a little heavier on the parsley than the others. So I can just... Get those in so there. if you're happy with your proportions, not too much tarragon or thyme, but okay. Okay. Nick, I don't know if what you're doing is any different, but I usually dredge the fish in the herbs, brown it, and then put it in the oven. I don't know if that's your plan. That is exactly what my plan was, Chef Mark. Uh, Dave, I see you have a nice big heavy-duty skillet in front of you. That looks like yeah. it'll be perfect for a piece of fish. Uh, if you want to move that over to the nice hot burner in front, yeah, okay. right there. Perfect. That way me and Mark can keep an eye on what you're And you want like medium high. I'd usually do that about seven. Yeah, seven or eight would be great. Okay. Um, and you could go ahead and get a little slick of vegetable oil in there right now. We're going to salt and pepper the fish, and then we're just going to tap it in the herbs on both sides. All right, so you have a little slick of olive oil in your pan. Yes. Yeah. That should get nice and shimmering hot. And in the mm -hmm. meantime, you can get the herbs on um, your fish fillet. Okay. So I got these two beautiful uh, Chilean sea bass fillets. I'll put a little salt and pepper on them. So I'm going to dredge this in the herbs. And dredge it well. Get as yeah. much of that herb, as, herb mix as you can to stick on there. Okay. So there's... Filet number one. That's gorgeous. Oh, it looks good. Sounds good. Sounds great. Mark is such a generous cookbook author. He gives you so many options uh, in his recipes. You can use broth. You can use white wine. You can use water for this. What liquid did you guys decide to use? So the wine, we, we chose wine for the cooking liquid, and I chose a white Italian, a Vermentino grape that I've, I've liked that's got more acidity and a, and a mineral finish, not a lot of fruit in it. Sounds perfect. I used white wine as well. So when that fish is nice and starting to, to get a little brown on the first side, you can flip it over, um, and then I splash the wine in and... I like to catch all that steam from the wine right away. So once I put the wine in, I go uh, straight down into the steam oven, and you kind of yeah. add to that steam content that's in there. And we're almost. You're not done cooking on. the fish; you're just browning it because we're yeah. gonna cook it yeah. in the oven. Oh yeah, I should show you. Is this that the, brown? The sear you want? It seared all the herbs on there like a little flat crust of herbs. Yeah, right that does right. look good. Yeah, it looks okay. good. You know, with the coating of herbs, you don't want it too brown because then all the herbs will burn. So it's a nice, gentle, golden brown, and you get that crust of herbs. I, I think it looks great. And then it goes right in. And then you can get that Ooh. straight down into the steam-assisted oven. Look at that. I grew up in old-fashioned kitchens with clanky pots and pans, and um, I, I never had the opportunity to cook in a steam-assisted oven until I joined Signature Kitchen Suite, and I'm blown away. Since I've been with Signature Kitchen Suite, 
I don't think I've cooked a piece of seafood any other way. So you have a convectional roast with puffs of steam added. To be able to have that, that technology in, in a home setting blows my mind. Linda, like I said, we've discussed prior, I know you have had the opportunity to come here. Yes. Experience in Design Center in Napa, which totally got you hooked on the world of Signature Kitchen Suite. Yes, it did. Well, I, I'm the first to admit, I've been designing a little over 35 years. Started when I was about 10. And so I've kind of gotten in t accustomed to using the product that I use. And so this was new to go out and learn about a new appliance line. And what blew me away, I, I obviously as an interior designer, I'm a very visual person. And so first thing I do is I look at whether it's an appliance, a sofa, art, whatever it might be, I look at it. And does it pass the look test? Do I like the aesthetics? And I love all of the signature kitchen suite appliance aesthetic. It's very clean, crisp, pared down, very straightforward. There's nothing blobby or goopy or anything you know that's going to detract from an interior. And while it's awesome to look good, it needs to perform. I, I found all the functionality of um, the signature kitchen suite range to be very user friendly. It's certainly high tech. It's, it's got those bones that, that can rock all the high tech test features. Um, we've learned as we've gone, but I find it to be very user friendly. We might, you might want to take a peek at the fish and just make sure we're uh, staying course here. Ooh. Yeah, it, uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Oh, it definitely. That looks good. Okay. Oh, that looks fabulous. I'll, I'll give this to the camera. Yeah. Fresh from the oven. It's gorgeous. Okay, salad. Oh, you guys are going to build this beautiful salad. And we just planned on just, pla just building it right on the plate rather than getting it to a, Sounds uh, good. a platter and transferring it. Oh, nice. You're plating up individual. I like you're taking the you're going for it, Chef Dave. <laughs> And then you have, obviously, don't forget the bacon. Go bold or go home. That's, that works. And then it seems like you made a beautiful little open spacer on your plate for a piece of fish. And then we'll do a little blue. And then it gets, it, it gets a little olive oil as well, correct? That's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you could even, instead of just the straight olive oil, you could give it now, and, and, and I'll let Mark chime in, because it's his recipe. You could just put a little of the five minute drizzle right on that salad. Yeah. I would, sure. I would use the drizzle for both the salad and the fish. Perfect. And so then to finish the drizzle, I'm gonna add the um, lemon juice. Beautiful. I like it. So many flavors in this plate. Yeah, I find the shopping list was only this big. It was so very <laughs> few ingredients. Yeah, the drizzle is what? Three ingredients, four ingredients. Four ingredients. The fish, a couple of herbs. Yeah. It smells amazing. You hold a sauce pot and a spoon like a professional chef. Yeah, you do look like you know what you're doing. Let's see that thing. Oh, so gorgeous. That is a beautiful plate. Thank you. Thanks for the coaching. Love to see you guys eat this thing. This fish is just so flaky. Enjoy it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that's outstanding. Yeah, that salad's a beautiful thing. Mm. And that drizzle couldn't be simpler, but that really takes it right over the top. That fish is just a beautiful texture. Uh, it's... It's so moist and flaky and... Yeah, that steam assist almost makes it foolproof to do that fish. Yeah, I think it's way. a perfect, perfect cooking method, yeah. I wish I'm that was my it. lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you guys. You did such a beautiful job. You seemed so relaxed and the food looks so great. So thank you for helping us today. Nick, as always, thank you for your sage advice on the equipment. And um, thanks all of you for watching. 
cooking in your true to food kitchen from signature kitchen suite and me mark Bittman. the recipe we did today you can find on signaturekitchensuite.com or on markbitman.com as well as other episodes of cooking your true to food kitchen and other recipes from me um, and please be sure to visit linda's wonderful site at anglerstudio.com thanks again for watching